In this video, I will discuss about uh, representation of uh, the gain and absolute values in decibels. So, this representation is commonly used in electronics uh, circuits, so which will be uh, expressing the uh, voltage and uh, power gains in decibels. So, the decibel is a logarithmic way of describing the ratio that is used to measure some sort of gain, such as it may be voltage gain or uh, power gain. So, what is the advantage of uh, this converting these uh, gains or absolute values of uh, any parameter to decibels is? So, if you consider any electronic system or uh, control system which consists of a series of blocks. So, if you see all these blocks um, uh, gain, if you consider it as a G1, G2 and G3. So, overall gain of this uh, control system, electronic system is a product of all these gains. So, we use value is very high. So, if you convert the gains of these individual blocks in decibels, so this, if you want to know the overall gain of this system, simply add the all the gains in decibels. In addition to this, so we can also convert the gains uh, values to a very small value. So, if a gain of an amplifier, if you consider it, which is an order of 10 power 9, so which is very high if you consider. Whereas the same value in decibels, if you see, it is a 90 decibels. So, expressing the gains or absolute values of the signal in decibels is a convenient way. So, the power gain, if you calculate, uh, so it can be understood by this simple example. So, we know the gain equal to the output uh, by input. So, in a circuit that produces uh, the output power of 200 milliwatts for an input of 10 milliwatts. So, then what is the gain in decibels? If you see by this formula, you can calculate. So, gain uh, in decibel equal to 10 log of uh, G. So, we will get around 13 decibels. And if the gain is increased by a factor of 2, then the same the decibels in decibels if you see it is a plus 3 dB. So the factor of 1 means 0 decibels means the output equal to the input. And if that is a factor of 2 means it is plus 3 dB. Output is a sorry factor of 2 means if example if the output equal to um, 2 times of the input then it is a factor of 2. And similarly if the output is half of the uh, input then uh, the decibels if we express in decibels it is of minus 3 dB so this is commonly used minus 3 dB is a commonly used for determining the bandwidth of an amplifier so minus 3 dB frequency is used for calculating the bandwidth of a particular amplifier so there are some systems where the absolute values of uh, the voltages, powers or uh, sound pressure levels are to be expressed in decibels because of its advantage in representation. So if you see how we, we have to calculate, generally the decibel if you see it indicates a ratio. So for calculating the decibels for the absolute value we need certain reference. So if you take for power and P equal to 10 log of P value by P reference and voltage V equal to 20 log of V value by V reference. So for the for dBW for expressing the uh, absolute value of the wattage in dB, so that is dBW. If you, this is one of the unit um, for wattage in uh, decibels. So the reference is one watt. And similarly for dBm, so for expressing the low powers in uh, decibels, the unit is dBm. So for that the reference is one milliwatt. And for extremely low powers, the unit um, is dBf. So we which is um, the reference value is 1 femtowatt and for voltages so that is expressing in decibels the reference uh, is 1 volt um, for the unit of dBv. So dBv, dB, sorry, dBf is used for very low signal levels such as those coming from an antenna and dBm is in very um, widely used in communication industry like wireless communication that will represent the uh, transmitting and uh, receiving uh, powers of the modules. So these values which we have, these units which we have discussed we can be understood uh, by these uh, examples. A power amplifier has a maximum output of 120 watts. So what is this power in dBm? If you see, so 10 log of P value by P reference. Here the it is in, because of a dBw. So the reference is 1, 1 watt. So we will get 20.79 dBw.
A small personal audio tape player delivers 200 milliwatts to its headphones. So what is this output power in dBm? Because it's a, a low power, that is in milliwatt. So the, ref, uh, the reference is uh, 1 milliwatt. If you see this formula, so we are getting around 23.01 dBm. And for voltage gain, so the voltage gain uh, can be expressed in uh, decibels by considering this example the gain equal to v out by v in which we are getting around uh, 40 for this example of uh, output signal of 2 volts for an input of 50 millivolts same if we express in decibels it is we are getting around uh, 20 log of g equal to 32 decibels so this is a gain so which is having an output and input so if you want to express an absolute value of the voltage in a decibels the unit is dbv so this is the example a test oscillator produces a 2 volt signal so what is this value in dbv if you consider here the reference for dbv equal to 1 volt then we are getting 6.02 dbv so another um, parameter that is commonly expressed in decibels is noise or sound level so the db scale is used worldwide for measurement of the sound levels because this is an absolute parameter so for that there should be a certain difference so the difference is 20 micropascal generally the sound is generally a pressure wave so for this the difference we are taking as a 20 micropascals so human eye, uh, so my human ear audible sound pressure levels range from 20 micropascals that is the threshold level that a healthy young uh, ear can hear uh, till 200 pascals which is a high uh, threshold. So the resulting, this is resulting in a scale of 1 is to 10 million. So generally the um, sound is measured as a dB a SPL which is a sound pressure level and it is defined at 20 log of uh, P1 by P2, P0, P1 by P0 where P1 is the actual measured sound pressure level of a given sound and P0 is the reference value that is 20 micropascals which corresponds to a lowest hearing sound of the young healthy ear. In a logarithmic scale, the range of the human audible sound is from 20 decibels, which is uh, the threshold uh, uh, sound, to the 120 to 140 dB SPL, that is sound pressure level, which is a pain or highest uh, threshold level, and frequency mm, of the sound pressure. So, human uh, ear does not respond equally to all frequencies, that is, human audible range is 20 Hz to 20 kHz. So, we are more sensitive to sounds in a frequency range of 1 kHz to 4 uh, kHz. So, uh, than to a very low or very high frequency so only this 1 kHz range to 4 kHz range is the more uh, the sensitive range to human ears so for this reason sound meters are usually fitted with a filter uh, frequency filter of 1 kHz to 400 kHz so this is the video which we are um, uh, seeing which will be helpful in calculating or in expressing any voltage uh, absolute values of the um, parameters or gains in decibels Thank you for watching my video.